And when dad gets home, you know what he says? You've been a bad girl. You've been a bad little girl and you're getting a vigorous spanking right now. I didn't know that Tucker Carlson went in that direction. I thought he was like super conservative and wasn't into that kind of talk. It's actually super creepy because he's talking about his daughter, right? And and like, oh, your daughter comes home and you have to spank that naughty no, girl. I'm no, like, no. what are you doing? No. What are you doing, no, no. weirdo? Let's not. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna see the whole thing in a second, yeah. and then the, and then of course everybody's now calling Donald Trump daddy. It's gross in every imaginable way. Okay, so the context isn't as creepy. I mean, once you put his comments in context, but I, I don't think know it what. is. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, so let the me. The beginning just give it to is you. fine. So yeah. So look, this is during a Turning Point USA event in Georgia. It took place yesterday, Wednesday. Tucker Carlson made a call to young voters to vote for Donald Trump in the election, and he explained that Trump would bring a sense of discipline to the country, like a father coming home after four years to misbehaving children. Okay, let's watch. If you allow people to get away with things that are completely over the top and outrageous, if you allow your two-year-old to smear the contents of his diapers on the wall of your living room, and you do nothing about it, if you allow your 14-year-old to light a joint at the breakfast table, if you allow your hormone-addled 15-year-old daughter to like slam the door of her bedroom and give you the finger, you're gonna get more of it. And those kids are gonna wind up in rehab. It's not good for you, and it's not good for them. No. There has to be a point at which dad comes home. So look, if he left it there, fine. Yeah, I actually, I didn't mind that part at all. Yeah. I actually thought, for a conservative speech, that wasn't that bad. And when he goes, there has to be a time when dad comes home and the crowd goes nuts. No problem so far. But the whole time I know Tucker and I know why he took the turn that he did, which I'll explain in a minute. But the whole time I'm waiting for that turn, that crazy ridiculous turn, and it got there. By the way, I would run away from my mom to my dad for safety when I was being bad. <laughs> but I'm just putting that out there. But nonetheless, here's the rest of it. Yeah, that's right. Home. And he's pissed. Dad is pissed. He's not vengeful. He loves his children. Disobedient as they may be, he loves them. Because they're his children, they live in his house. But he's very disappointed in their behavior. And he's going to have to let them know. He's going to have to get to your room right now. And think about what you did. And when dad gets home, you know what he says? You've been a bad girl. You've been a bad little girl and you're getting a vigorous spanking right now. And no, it's not gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. No, it's not. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. And you earned this. You're getting a vigorous spanking because you've been a bad girl. Okay, no. So first, let me just regulate. Okay, I is dad home? Did dad come home? No, no, no. Now dad's coming home to Tucker Carlson. Okay, you've been a bad boy, Tucker. Oh my God, stop! <laughs> it sounds sexual. No, that's my point. Look, guys, as a dad, I would never come home and tell my uh, uh, no. Daughter, don't even say it. Don't even put it in that. Con I know what you mean, but no. Don't but that's not, I, I, I that's his context. That's literally it, the context he's so, saying. It's so. It's creepy. not a, like that context. It is that context. He's saying that he would say to his own daughter, you've been a dirty little girl. You deserve a vigorous, what are you, what is who the- Who says vigorous spank? I mean, who says that? And so, In any context other than a sexual one. It's a 100% sexual, he means it as sexual. No, he doesn't. Yeah, of course he does, Anna, please don't be naive. Let me explain why, let me explain why, okay? okay? Because Tucker does this all the time. He says outrageous things because he knows the press, including us, can't resist it, that Maybe, we have yeah. to talk about it. Because when he you talk about your own daughter and how she needs a vigorous spanking because she's been a naughty little girl, oh everybody's God. gonna say you're an unbelievable weirdo. Why are you sexualizing this? Are you insane? Every single person that has seen this in my, you know, among my friends is like, what the hell? Why is this so sexual? Yeah. Why are they going nuts over this center? Because he's, ironically, this is a, a phenomenon 
that a friend of mine who used to work here called uh, uh, look at me daddy uh, phenomenon, okay? Because his uh, daughters would do like fun different things and they go, look at me daddy, look at me, right? And that's what Tucker has done throughout his entire career. Say <laughs> outrageous things on purpose to get attention. So that, that, and look at this, it worked. The whole country's talking about Tucker Carlson and his weirdly sexual speech about Donald Trump and his daughter. And in this, and now the analogy part. The analogy is Donald Trump is coming home and and the voters or America the are the are the daughter that needs a vigorous the spanking. Politicians, like who needs? A, I need to know who needs a spanking. Okay, <laughs> who is he talking about? And so, it's and the line that he said. See, this is me. Not I'm not a conservative, and this is among the reasons why. When he said, "And it's gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt me." I don't like that. That's not a thing I get off on, right? Like, if I had to hit my kids, which I would never do, it would hurt me 10,000 times more than it hurt them. But for Tucker, he thinks, no, those are kids who deserve to be batted around. And so, ha ha, it's gonna hurt you, daughter, more than it's gonna hurt me. I'm I don't like, that's really disgusting to me. I've never seen him as animated as he was during that speech. He's so animated and so excited about it. In fact, after. He gave that speech, uh, the crowd went wild and started chanting Daddy Don when Trump took the stage. Ay, ay, ay. Um, so that's Dominus. gonna be a thing now. And according to CNN correspondent, uh, a, a CNN correspondent by the name of Alana uh, Treen, now this is something that, cr now this is something that crowd went wild for here. There are thousands of people here and when Trump came on stage, as you can see speaking behind me, they shouted, or they started screaming and chanting, Daddy's home and Daddy Dawn. There's we live in the worst period in American history. No, that's not the worst period, but close. <laughs> okay. No, it's super frustrating. I mean, so oh they you got God. these weirdos on the right who are, you know, making sexual analogies to their daughters, and then the people are making sexual things with Donald Trump, who's a weirdo guy who sexually assaults women, etc. And they're like, oh, daddy's home. Oh. Gross, right? And the Democrats are having trouble beating him. Mm. It's not a good timeline, guys. <laughs> We're in a world of hurt. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We also love it if you hit the join button below because that makes you a member. And members allow us to be independent, honest. We could be as progressive as we want, no corporate media influence. And that's all because of you guys. We love doing the show with our members. Hit the join button, become one of the young Turks.